No, no, no. Listen to me. If I wanted to make a reservation for last Thursday, I would have said that. Now I want you to go and tell your boss that my wife and I, Jerry Coyne, will be at the restaurant tonight at 8.30 p.m. And if there's not a table there with our name on it, you can kiss your worthless, pathetic job goodbye. <sighs> Okay, people, what ideas have we got for the new show? Oh, come on, I know they're not empty pages in front of you, so unless they're your shopping lists, I want to hear ideas now! Um, boss? How come we're in the studio today instead of the usual room? Oh, Sarah, if you must know. The last few months I've been thinking that all the ideas that you guys have come up with have been... embarrassing! A joke! If you catch my drift. So today we're going to do something different. Today I don't want to just tell me your ideas. I want to feel them. Imagine them. Envision them. Right here. So Sarah, you're done asking questions, that is. Why don't you get the ball rolling with a few ideas? I don't want you to just tell me. I want to feel them. I want to imagine them going on right here in the studio. Um. Okay, how about this? So, it's a TV show set in the future and robots have been introduced into everyday life and it's... Let me stop you there. Cause I do not need to hear another word to know that my three-year-old son could come up with something better. Anyone else? Chris, come on, don't blast me in the ass here, Chris. Uh, okay, um, let's say we have a family going into a new house but um, it's being haunted by the family who used to live there. It doesn't have to be a horror though, it could be like a comedy or... It could... or, or, or... Are you done? Okay, good. Okay, maybe we can start brainstorming some ideas that actually make sense. Okay, come on, people. What do I pay you for? I can't do everything myself. Well, how about a show about an arsehole who owns a really big company? But he thinks he's a genius, yeah? But in reality, he doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, and did I mention he's, he, he's an arsehole? Mm -hmm. And do pigs fly in this TV show as well, Nathan? What episode is that the dogs start talking? Got it. A man breaks up with his wife, moves into his brother's house with his son, and imposes on every aspect of his brother's life. Uh, boss, that idea's been done already. Two and a half men, kind of a big show. It sure only went off the air about three or four months ago. Change it from men to women. But no one's going to know the difference. Oh. Ooh. All right. I gotta go, people. All right. I cannot sit around and do your jobs for you all day. I want that pilot on my desk Monday morning, 9 a.m. Excuse me, boss. Uh, not now, Sarah. I'm busy. Uh, email me if you have any questions. Come on, guys. We can't keep letting that idiot walk all over us. I mean, everyone in the room right now is smart and creative, extremely talented. And I'm sick of all of our ideas being shot down and ignored by that clueless bastard. That's all he is. A clueless fucking bastard. Someone give that girl an Oscar. I just came back because I forgot my pen. Well, maybe you can have it, Sarah. Put it in a box with the rest of your things. Consider it a going away present. Oh, and don't forget to mention all the rest of us in her. Your acceptance speech. Day. Oh, you better believe it. It's not easy always being the smartest guy in the room. I tell you, one day this place is going to drive me to the point of insanity where I start talking to myself. Uh, Jerry? I think we passed that stage a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs>